working on a 80 horsepower L4 has the traditional choke system in it um, not spring mounted the butterflies uh, when you try to choke it and start it that they'll completely close close the throat to the fuel component so what I'm going to do is as you can see here I just put a stainless steel zipped uh, not zip tie a uh, stainless steel clamp and then drilled through it grounded grounded the solenoid the uh, en enrichment valve right there on the screw and then I connected this cable right here and this is what, what the choke is this red cable came off of off the choke solenoid right there so now I got that connected I got this connected um, so right now what I'm going to do is splice the fuel line this is the main fuel line from the fuel pump so what happens is when you prime you know when you prime the bulb and everything's tight the carbs are fuel are full so once you click the enrichment valve the pump is actually going to pump fuel through here through here and then hit this vein right here so that's the idea this is basically going to pump fuel directly into the crankcase to make this easier starting So I got it off, ended up having to opening it, but I have everything off. Looks like we got a quarter inch. So I'll go ahead and replace that with a quarter. I'm gonna replace this whole cord with a quarter inch with a T fitting. All right, so I got everything out. You can see the nipples there. Pretty big nipples, look like quarter of an inch. But I'm gonna take, get us away from this mess. I'll show you what I'm gonna do. Okay, all right, so here's the front of the boat. Now this is the adapter to go into the smaller hose. This is the original, original hose, stay still. Now when I install this T-brass fitting, it's going to take out probably about an inch. So I only need two short pieces of the new fuel line, or new uh, balancer right here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Alright, so I got everything, the new hose in. So to the left is the old hose, and to the right is the new hose. So I have this coming in, and what I'm going to do is stick this in here, hose clamp it on, that way the smaller hose goes in there so I don't flood the engine every single time. But yeah, it looks pretty good. Let's get it in there. Alright, so now I got all the hoses in there. So I got this coming out right here, the balance tube. I went ahead and replaced the bottom tube because why not? I'm already here. So now it's just time to connect the enrichener to this and then splice this to feed this all right let's do it all right so again i don't want to compromise the original flow of the original fuel line so i got an eighth inch I and mean, this is a quarter inch but i got eighth inch so this will not compromise any fuel for fuel flow going directly to the carburetors here all right so i got everything tied in the fuel line is not compromised now i'm just going to put this down here put in a smaller adapter to go to here and then we're going to connect the bottom line to this which is going to go right to the intake all right it's almost like i was having a contest to see you go put the most uh this is these wire ties <laughs> most hose clamps in an engine i think i won i don't know let's see here all right so now all we gotta do is just connect the uh connect the fuel and uh, we're gonna fire it up make a talk see what's going on so I went to the store, got some 316's uh, clear fuel line so we could see the magic. Alright, so now we're just going to connect this to the top one, and then the bottom one to the feed, to the crankcase. Alright, so now that we have everything connected, which I believe is proper, we're going to go ahead and make it talk, see what happens again. The fuel pump is going to pump fuel directly into this, and then we hit the choke, it's going to pump fuel from here all the way from here into the crankcase. So we're gonna see if it starts easily. All right, so I got the water on, I got the remote switch. The remote switch here, we're gonna see what happens. Hmm, it's definitely pumping fuel. I'm gonna try to increase the throttle just a little bit. Let's try it without it. Full with 
fuel going into the crankcase. All right, so we're gonna start it again. Choked it out. <laughs> 